Last season on Dancing with the Stars, she was partnered with Backstreet Boy AJ McLean, now two time mirror ball champ. Cheryl Burke is joining <laughs> us live. Woo woo, there she is. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Hi, guys. I'm hey. great. How are you? We're doing well great. now that you're on our show. Yeah. Okay, so this fall, oh. Dancing with the Stars is celebrating, I can't believe saying this out loud, 30 seasons. 30. Will you can be you believe it? I can't. That's so crazy. Crazy. It's become <laughs> such a, a, a staple in a lot of our lives. 30 seasons. Will you be back for this major milestone? You've said in the past that you're ready to retire, though. You know, I, it's, I keep going back and forth. Like, my head tells me maybe I, you know, maybe not. But then my heart and my passion says, absolutely, like you have to celebrate this milestone. I've been a part of the show since season two, you know, so it's a huge celebration. I cannot believe just to say season 30. Everyone's like, what has been on for 30 years? No, it hasn't been on 30 years. We used to do two seasons a year, so I think around 15 years now, but still it is such a huge celebration. And as fans, I mean, we've gotten to see the evolution of you personally, the evolution of the show. And of course, many fans were shocked that Dancing with the Stars host Tom Bergeron and Aaron Andrews were replaced with Tyra Banks. So what did you think of the shakeup? You know, I think that after 30 seasons or 20 something seasons of anything, right, it's time to basically evolve and grow. And I think that's what, you know, Tyra adds to the show. It's new, it's fresh, and it's important that, you know, we evolve as a show. And I think she's been adding a different type of energy, a very like positive and fun energy. I love being able to see what she wears every single week. I mean, it's it's so cool just to see like her take on ballroom fashion, you know. So Cheryl, last season you were partnered, as Sam said earlier, with AJ McLean from the Backstreet Boys. You guys didn't win. I was pulling for you, but now you have a podcast called Pretty Messed Up. I'm a huge boy band fan. What's it like working with a, a, member, of the, a member of the Backstreet Boys? Oh my gosh, well, AJ is just amazing. He's a really great guy. And I think what really bonded us from the beginning is we're both sober, you know, so we definitely have that in common. And even before the uh, season last season, we actually were going to do this podcast had no idea he was going to be on the show, let alone be my partner. So this was something that has been in the works with iHeart for quite some time now. And it's me, Renee, his um, his mentor and AJ. So and it's fun because we get to just we're uncensored and we talk everything about like mental health, sobriety, and we have really cool guests coming on and stuff like that. So it's nice to not be edited, you know? <laughs> Cheryl, I'm gonna ask you a quick follow-up question. I gotta ask, are you a Backstreet Boys fan or an NSYNC fan? Ooh, and be honest, Cheryl. <laughs> well, I am part of the Backstreet Boy army, I must say. <laughs> I am right. a part of that army. So I choose, I choose BSB. Got it. All right. And I just want to say personally, I'm just, I, I, I really am thankful to you and AJ and your podcast for trying to de not even trying, for destigmatizing addiction. So thank you for putting uh, mental you. health right there front and center. We appreciate that. Now, Dancing with the Stars oh, host, you so much. you're welcome. Uh, Dancing with the Stars host Tyra <laughs> wants to see Colin Kaepernick on the show. If you could pick your oh, next, uh, yeah, I know, isn't that a good one? I hope, I mean, I don't know if he would ever do it, but it is. If if you could pick I mean, any... I'm a Bay Area girl, so that would be a perfect partner. Where in the Bay Area oh, were really? you? Palo Alto area. Okay, Santa Cruz over here. Um, I feel How like about that... you? Oh, yeah. Nice. I feel like we forgot. I forgot I was on the show for a second. <laughs> I just kind of geeked out with Cheryl Burke. Sorry, Cheryl. If you, if you could pick your next partner, who would it be? Anybody in the world? Well, I mean, if Colin's going to be on, why not? You know, we'll represent the Bay Area. But, um... I, I've always vouched for Joe Coy. You know, we're oh, both yeah. Filipino. We just he's had my, him on the show. He's my, uh, oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, we just had him on our podcast. And I've actually bonded with him just because we're both Filipino. And we just like went, went way back to where like our, you know, mothers would cook Filipino food. And it's just, I think I would have, you know, selfishly, I would have a blast. So, but I don't think he'd ever do the show. So. He's amazing. <laughs> it's a pretty good candidate. That's actually a good he's call. So funny. I mean, he's already a star, but he's really rising to the top yes. of stardom. I think he might be on that show if he wants to yeah. do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be great. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see. I think he's currently shooting a movie with, um, Steven Spielberg, uh, so he I think he's a little busy yeah. right now. Yeah, he, he told us. <laughs> he's a little busy. Now, Cheryl, uh, first, thank you for joining us. But we, I think before we go, I think it's really important. We have here, I just want to get the information right. Um, 
I believe our prompter is completely defunct. So if one of the producers yeah, can tell I me in my you. ear, your masks, <laughs> tell us all about your new yes. masks. So I've collaborated with uh, Bailey Blue, and these are masks that, weirdly enough, I've been wanting to make even before the pandemic. I had a live stage show in Japan, and I saw all these beautiful Japanese people walking on the streets, and they had dental masks. And I was like, you know what? I've got to make something cuter. And so, you know, a series of unfortunate events happened, unfortunately, and um, I made masks. Mm. So this is more about the construction than the glitter, right? So what's important for me is that you can breathe in your masks, that you're not really self-conscious because you're not really feeling like you have a mask on your face and look cute at the same time. So we actually have had these out for quite some time now. You can go to baileybluecloathing.com for more info. And we just released mommy and me masks. So like mm. you and your daughter could yes. have matching masks on her way to ballet class. We also have the rumba master basically named after every dance you've seen on Dancing with the Stars. You got the Pasa Doble, yes. the quick step. We've got so oh, much. I love it. And make Very sure, cool. yeah, to our viewers, functional and fashionable, go to baileybluecloathing.com. Cheryl Burke, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, we hope to see you <laughs> back this season on Dancing with the Stars. Thanks, Cheryl.